fence sweetness by kale young rice this recording for LibriVox.org by elaine conway flowers are dancing waves playing pines swaying girls are a swarm sea and heather sunning together glad of the weather with god are warm flowers dancing clouds winging larks singing summer a brew summer the old ecstatic passion of life to fashion the world anew end of poem this recording is in the public domain Titles by Kale Young Rice, read for LibriVox.org, by Anusha Ayer. Low along the sea, low along the sea, the grey gulls are flying, and one sail swings. The tide is foaming in, the soft wind is sighing. The brown kelp is stretching to the surf, harp strings low along the sea low along the sea the grey gulls are flying and one sail fades the tide is foaming out the soft wind dying and white stars are peeping from the night's pale shades end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Sailor's Wife by Kale Young Rice Read for LibriVox.org by April 6090, California, United States of America Into port when the sun was setting Rode the ship that bore my love Over the breakers wildly fretting Under the skies above Down to the beach I ran to meet him He would come as he had said And he came in a sailor's coffin Dead O oh, the ships of the sea, the lovers torn by them apart. The tide has nothing now to tell me. The breakers break my heart. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To Sea by Kale Young Rice Read for LibriVox.org by Anusha Ayer Give me the tiller, up with the sail. Now let her swing to the breeze. Out to sea with a dripping rail, to sea with a heart at ease. Out of the harbour, out of the bay, out by the valiant light. Out by the rocks where the young gulls lay, and glad winds teach them flight. Out of the harbour, out of the bay, out to the open sea. Oh, there's not in the world a way to feel so wildly free so let her quiver so let her leap so let her dance the foam all life else is a narrow keep the sea alone is home end of poem this recording is in the public domain give over o sea by kale young rice this recording for librivox dot org by elaine conway give over o oh sea you never shall reach nirvana your tides like the tidal generations ever shall rise and fall and your infinite waves find birth rebirth and billowy dissolution the years of your existence are unending the years of your unresting are for ever the sun who is desire ever begets in you his passion and the moon is ever drawing you with silvery soft alluring to surge and sway to wander and fret to waste yourself in foam so butter calm shall never descend upon you and though it may seem often you have found the way your tempest sins 
return and quicken to world reincarnations and gain great life pulsing and perilous omnipotent life that ever resurges through the universe lashes you back to striving back to yearning back to speech to utterance on all shores of the world of things unutterable give over then you never shall reach nirvana nor i who am your acolyte for a moment who swing a censer of fragrant words before your priestly feet that tread these altar rocks bedraped with weeds gently afloat and with the wild flutter of girls wildly mysterious give over and call your winds again to join you o chanter of deep enchantments of uncharted litanies call them and bid them say with you that life transcends retreat and that in the temple of its imminence there is no peace that does not spring daily from peacelessness and no nirvana save in the lee of storm End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Nun by Kale Young Rice. Recorded for LibriVox.org by Elaine Conway. A lone palm leans in the moonlight over a convent wall the sea below is waking and breaking with a calm heave and fall a young nun sits at a window for heaven she is too fair yet even the dove of god might nest in her bosom beating there a lone ship sails from the harbour whom does it bear away her lover who sin-hearted has parted and left her but to pray she has no lover nor ever has heard afar love sigh only the convent's vesper vow has ever dimmed her eye for naught knows she of her beauty more than the palm of its peace and none shall cross her portals to mortal desires to bend her knees the ways of the world have flowers and any who will pluck those but in his hand against all harm god still will keep some rose end of poem this recording is in the public domain last sight of land by kale young rice read for librivox dot org by larry wilson the clouds in woe hang far and dim and look again and lo only a faint and shadow line of shore i watch it go the gulls have left the ship and wheel back to the cliff's gray wraith will it be so of all our thoughts when we set sail on death and what will the last sight be of life as lone we fare and fast grief and a face we love in mist then night and awe too vast or the dear light of hope like that o oh, sea from the lost shore kindling and calling onward you shall reach for evermore in the poem this recording is in the public domain end of sea poems by kale young rice